we're going to be doing now is drilling the osteotomy to place a 6 millimeter 7 style implant, 13 millimeter length. You'll notice that this is the new mountless delivery system style of implant. We'll also be using the 2 millimeter drill stopper kit, the 2.8 millimeter drill stop kit, and the MIS surgical kit, in addition to the WH implant med motor. So first we have to drill the osteotomy. We're going to start with the marking drill from the MIS surgical kit. First drilling with the marking drill. Next, the 2.0 millimeter drill, which we'll use with the 13 millimeter drill stopper. Push in to keep the drill stopper in place. It is best to drill with in and out motions to prevent the drill from overheating and burning the bone. You can use the out portion of the drill stopper kit to remove the sleeve. And the drill. Next, the 2.8 millimeter drill, which is color coded yellow, along with the stops themselves, which are also yellow. We're done with the 2.8 millimeter drill. We're going to show using the 2.8 millimeter body try-in, also color-coded yellow. This will do several things. First, it checks to make sure that the depth is also 13 millimeters. You can at this point do a periapical x-ray to make sure that it is inserted completely and also to verify the direction of the osteotomy as compared to the neighboring teeth. You can also verify that the osteotomy is in the center of the ridge wherever you needed it to be. Next step is to use the 3.2 millimeter twist drill, which is color coded red. Since this time we're drilling without the drill stop, we do want to verify that we've reached the correct depth. You can do this by checking the lines that are on the drill to make sure it's at 13 millimeters and then checking again with the body try-in for 3.2 millimeters. So we will insert the 3.2 millimeter body try-in to make sure that the osteotomy is still at 13 millimeters total depth. If it's inserted properly, we can move on to the next drill in the sequence. The next one will be the 3.8 millimeter twist drill, color coded blue. Again, we do not have, are not using a drill stopper for this diameter, so we will be careful to insert it to the correct marking on the drill. The next diameter is the green colored 
4.5 millimeter twist drill. Again, verify the depth using a body try-in. Notice that when inserting it, it should continue to go to the 13 millimeter mark. The osteotomy is 13 millimeters total depth. You can also see the spacing and angulation of it is favorable compared to the neighboring teeth and its placement on the ridge. The next drill will be the 5.0 millimeter twist drill, which is color coded white. next drill in sequence is the final drill, which is single, sterile sealed, included with the MIS-7 implant. It is very important before drilling to verify that the drill you've chosen is the correct one. You can see on each package it says the diameter and length of the implant for which the drill should be used. So for this one it says implant diameter 6 millimeters and length 13 millimeters, in case you have multiple drills around. It's very important to get the right drill. Since the drill is sized for exactly this length of implant, there's only one marking on it, so it's important to get exactly to that depth of the drill. And now the implant can be inserted.